warahmatullahi wabarakatuh hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel okay in this video i will explain about indonesian rubber commodity export in the world market and this video was made to fulfill the final semester examination assignment in marketing management course with the lecturer mrs novi badrutamami but before that i will uh, introduce myself my name is fania tanestari my student number is 50 so stay tuned and baby please don't go okay the first explanation let's start with guest lecture there are two guest lectures the first bringing the theme of social media management of entrepreneurship with wahyu firdaus as the speaker of the media development team of madura batik the second speaker bringing the theme about honoring leadership ability to shape the entrepreneurship soul in student with Muhammad Yusri Muhtadi as a supervisor at PT Karya Majulestari. Here I will explain about motivation to start export business. After attending a guest lecture, I was motivated to start an export business. To start a business, we must have a leadership spirit. Before becoming a leader for others, be a leader for yourself. As follow, be honest with yourself, set target, be a learner, think positive and be humble. This concept is to encourage us to do work at one time because when trying to do several things at one time we reduce our focus of accuracy in doing these things. Therefore, we must be able to let ourselves more truly focus and productively in various ways before running a business and before leading others. The following are the characteristics of a leader in running entrepreneurship including first is having a clear vision, courage to take action, courage in taking risks, high self-confidence, communication skill, being a good listener, having a mentor, and the last is open mind. The next topic is about potential rubber commodities and export strategy in the international market. The first I will explain about export commodity. The development of Indonesian agricultural export performance so good growth, especially plantation yield. One of the leading export commodity that is the target of development because it has a very broad market potential is natural rubber. Rubber is a commodity that is indispensable for human daily activities and rubber is a basic material in the manufacture of household appliance, cosmetic tools, fashion, and medical equipment besides the natural rubber is also the main ingredient in the manufacture of vehicle tires. Currently, more than 12 million tons of natural rubber is produced annually which is used in many industries to produce commercial products such as gloves, tires, ballons, rubber boots, swimming caps, and etc. Until now, Indonesia is still unable to process rubber product properly due to low technology so that Indonesia export rubber is raw form. Now we talk about rubber potential in Indonesia. In 1864, rubber plantations were introduced in Indonesia. Rubber plantations were opened by Hofland that year in the Pamanukan of West Java. Large plantation and people plantation for rubber are spread across most of the province on the island of Sumatra and Kalimantan, West Java, Central Java, East Java, Banten, Central Sulawesi, South Sulawesi, Bali, and Maluku. Natural rubber is an internationally trade commodity and Indonesia is an important exporting country in the rubber trade which so progress every year. Where Indonesia, the total natural rubber production in 2018 reached 3.63 million tons, about 18% of Indonesian natural rubber production was exported to foreign countries. Indonesia is a natural rubber producer with the largest plantation area in the world, and Indonesia is the second largest natural rubber producer in the world after Thailand. Every year, the area of rubber plantation in Indonesia always increases from time to time. Like in 2013, the area of rubber plantation in Indonesia was around 3,556 hectare. In 2018, it increased to 3,671 hectare. Total natural rubber export in the last 11 years tend to fluctuate, ranging from 13.25% to 18.05%. In 2008, Total export which reached 2.3 million tons with a total value uh, 6.1 billion US dollar increasing to 2.81 million ton in 2018 with a total value 
3.95 billion US dollar. Here I will tell you about rubber competitiveness potential. Based on the calculation results, it was found that the competitiveness potential of Indonesian natural rubber which was calculated using the RCA analysis technique, namely the RCA of Indonesia as one of the second largest natural rubber producer in the world was 31.8 in 2018. It was found that the result of Indonesian natural rubber market share was 29.1 in 2018 which was calculated using market share analysis technique. So in 2018, Indonesia was in second place. The main challenge faced by the national industry at this time is the trend of declining industrial competitiveness in the international market, especially plantation products that are exported in the form of raw commodities or semi-finished products. Indonesian natural rubber industry is no exception. This industry faces many challenges related to structural weakness of the industrial sector, such as weak linkages between industries, both upstream and downstream industries, limited production capabilities and technology for the transformation of semi-finished goods into product with higher added value. The last topic we talk about rubber export strategy. Indonesia international trade has undergone many transformations in the last 50 years. Therefore, the competitiveness of Indonesian rubber commodities need to be increased so that rubber sales in the global market remain stable and are expected to increase every year. The following is a competitive strategy for Indonesia natural rubber export in the international market are the first strategy is increased productivity of natural rubber. The low productivity of Indonesian natural rubber greatly affect Indonesian natural rubber export. The strategy to increase productivity is Im important for farmer amid the current decline in commodity price. The Rubber Research Center has made effort to produce agricultural technology innovation to support land productivity. It is hoped that with the, the application of technology, the productivity of rubber plantation will gradually increase and have a positive impact on the welfare of farmer. The second strategy is application of technology for downstream industries. The strategy of implementing technology for the downstream industry is very appropriate to be carried out in order to be able to increase the natural rubber downstream industry so that Indonesia is able to increase its international market share. The application of agricultural technology is believed to be able to increase the productivity of rubber plantation from 1.3 tons per hectare to more than 2 tons per hectare. The third strategy is improve process for quality improvement. The productivity quality of natural rubber is still very low compared to other natural rubber producing countries. Process improvement strategy for quality improvement must be carried out in order to be able to increase export of natural rubber in line with the development of the downstream industry, one of the government operational policies at the off-farm level is improving the quality of rubber processing material by referring to the Indonesian National Standard or SNI as outlined in the Minister of Agriculture number 38 Permentan OT 158-2008 concerning guidelines for processing and marketing of rubber processing materials. The fourth strategy is training for rubber farmer. The strategy that must be done is to increase the knowledge of rubber farmer about the need to maintain and even improve the quality of rubber commodities through training on processing plantation products for rubber commodities or process rubber material which was followed by rubber collection, rubber collector, farmer group or rubber farmer in Barong District, West Kutai Regency. So far, farmer only think about wage or productivity without paying attention to quality according to international trade standard. The fifth strategy is use of superior seed. To increase the productivity of rubber, the, the use of technology such as some clone rubber settling which have high productivity still need to be increased. Farmer need to be support to change the use of local seed drive from natural plucking with stem settling. For the successful expansion of the use of superior seed, it is necessary to pay attention to the factor that are considered by farmer to adopt superior rubber seeds. The sixth strategy is rubber garden rejuvenation. Rejuvenation is done because the rubber 
trees are old, rubber produced by old trees will experience a decline in price. The last strategy is revitalization program. To increase the rule of rubber again, it is necessary to carry out a rubber plantation revitalization program. With the plantation revitalization program, it is hoped that the development of smartholder rubber plantation can be carried out with good support from the government. Okay, that's all about Indonesian rubber commodity export in the world market that I can explain to you. I'm so sorry for my mistake and the last say wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. See you!